The fireworks may be over, but we can still celebrate our nation in New York City. Welcome to our guide on the top 10 things to do after the 4th of July in NYC, keeping the essence of Independence Day alive. As we move beyond the 4th, the spirit of our nation's freedom continues to resonate. Join us as we embark on a journey through time, uncovering family-friendly activities and sites that pay tribute to the rich history and enduring principles that shape our great nation. From engaging museum exhibits to iconic landmarks, we'll discover a tapestry of stories and experiences that celebrate the freedom we hold dear. Get ready to immerse yourself in the archival wonders of July. Together, let's weave our way through the historical fabric of our nation and experience the true essence of liberty, starting with number one, the Statue of Liberty. A colossal neoclassical sculpture located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty was designed by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi and gifted to the United States from France. It was dedicated on October 28, 1886, and has since become an iconic symbol of freedom and democracy. Standing at 93 meters, or 305 feet tall, the statue depicts a rote female figure representing Libertas, the Roman goddess of freedom, holding a torch in one hand and a tablet inscribed with the date of American independence, July 4, 1776, in the other. The statue's crown features seven rays, symbolizing the seven continents. Lady Liberty stands as a universal symbol of hope, freedom, and the enduring values upon which the United States was built. Grant's Tomb Officially known as the General Grant National Memorial, Grant's Tomb is a mausoleum located in New York City. It serves as the final resting place of Ulysses S. Grant, the 18th President of the United States and the Union Army's commanding general during the American Civil War. Grant's Tomb was dedicated on April 27, 1897, and it is the largest mausoleum in North America. Following Grant's death in 1885, his wife Julia chose to have his tomb located in New York City as a tribute to the close ties she and her husband had with the city. Grant had lived in New York after his presidency and had a strong association with its social and political circles. Grant's tomb stands as a memorial to the accomplishments and leadership of Ulysses S. Grant and serves as a reminder of his significant contributions to American history. Teddy Roosevelt's Birthplace the Theodore Roosevelt Birthplace National Historic Site is located at 28 East 20th Street. It is a museum and historic site that commemorates the birth and early life of the 26th President of the United States. The brownstone building where Roosevelt was born in 1858 has been faithfully restored to reflect the appearance of the original structure. The museum showcases exhibits and displays that provide insights into Roosevelt's life, his accomplishments, and the time period in which he lived. Visitors to the birthplace can explore the rooms where the young future president spent his early years, including the parlor, library, and nursery. Additionally, you can pay your respects at the former president's gravesite at Young's Memorial Cemetery in Oyster Bay on Long Island. The grave is marked by a large granite monument with inscriptions detailing his accomplishments and contributions to the nation. At number four is France's Tavern. For visitors seeking a bite to eat in celebration of U.S. independence, France's Tavern offers a unique opportunity to dine in a historic establishment with ties to the founding of the United States. It's an historic restaurant and museum located in the financial district of Manhattan. Originally built in 1719, France's Tavern served as a meeting place for leaders of the American Revolution and a site for important historical events. The museum within France's Tavern showcases artifacts and exhibits that highlight the tavern's role in American history. Visitors can learn about the Revolutionary War, view historical documents and artifacts, and gain insights into the political and social climate of the era. The restaurant serves a variety of American and pub-style fare, including classic dishes such as burgers, steaks, seafood, and salads. It also features a selection of craft beers and signature cocktails. Federal Hall Number 5 is Federal Hall, a historic building located on Wall Street in the Financial District of Manhattan. It holds great significance in American history as it was the site of several pivotal events, including the inauguration of George Washington as the first President of the United States and the meeting place for the First Congress in 1789. Visitors to Federal Hall can explore the museum's displays, which include artifacts, 
documents, and interactive exhibits about the early days of American government. The iconic statue of George Washington on the steps of the building is a popular spot for photos. Federal Hall is a symbol of the birth of American democracy and the foundation of the United States government. It stands as a historic landmark where visitors can learn about the nation's early history and the events that shaped its political landscape. If you're enjoying our top 10 things to do after the 4th of July in NYC, let us know by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Now, let's bow our heads as we proceed to number 6. Trinity Church Officially known as Trinity Church Wall Street, Trinity Church is an Episcopal church located at the intersection of Broadway and Wall Street in Lower Manhattan. It was originally established in 1697 and has since become one of the city's most renowned landmarks. The current Trinity Church building, completed in 1846, is an exquisite example of Gothic Revival architecture. It has historical and cultural significance as it has witnessed significant events in American history. It served as a place of worship for notable figures such as Alexander Hamilton, who is buried in its cemetery. St. Paul's Chapel St. Paul's Chapel is an Episcopal chapel located just a short distance from Trinity Church. Completed in 1766, it is the oldest surviving church building in Manhattan. The chapel gained prominence for its role following the September 11, 2001 attacks on the nearby World Trade Center. Despite its close proximity to the Twin Towers, the chapel miraculously escaped any damage. It became a place of solace and support, offering refuge, meals, and spiritual care to rescue workers and the community during the recovery efforts. Today, St. Paul's Chapel stands as a symbol of resilience and community. Visitors can explore its historic interior, which includes notable features such as George Washington's pew and a memorial exhibition dedicated to the events of 9-11. Hamilton Grange National Memorial Hamilton Grange is a historic site located in Harlem. It was the former home of Alexander Hamilton, one of the founding fathers of the United States and the first Secretary of the Treasury. Hamilton Grange was built in 1802 and originally stood on Hamilton's 32-acre estate. The neoclassical style house was named The Grange after the Hamilton family's ancestral home in Scotland. It showcases the architecture and lifestyle of the early 19th century. It features period furnishings, artifacts, and exhibits that provide insights into Hamilton's life, political contributions, and his vision for the United States. The site serves as a tribute to Alexander Hamilton's legacy and contributions to American history. It offers visitors a chance to learn about his fascinating life, his role in shaping the nation's financial system, and his impact on the early days of the United States. The Morris Jumel Mansion The Morris Jumel Mansion is a historic landmark located in the Washington Heights neighborhood in NYC with a deep connection to the American Revolution. Built in 1765, it became a temporary headquarters for General George Washington during the war. From this strategic vantage point known as Mount Washington, Washington observed British movements and met with influential leaders like John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. Today, the mansion stands as Manhattan's oldest surviving residence and operates as a museum. Its rich history and architectural charm make it a fascinating destination for visitors seeking to explore the pivotal role it played in the Revolutionary War and experience the place where Washington strategized for the nation's independence. New York Historical Society At number 10 is the New York Historical Society, the perfect museum to visit in keeping with the theme of the 4th of July in NYC. Established in 1804, it is the city's oldest museum and holds a treasure trove of artifacts and exhibits that illuminate the nation's history and the journey towards freedom. With over 1.6 million artifacts, visitors can explore an array of historical treasures, including artwork, photographs, manuscripts, maps, and ephemera. From exhibits on the American Revolution and the Civil War to collections focused on immigration, social movements, and women's history, the New York Historical Society offers a captivating journey through America's past. While specific items may vary, the museum offers a truly immersive and enlightening experience, making it an ideal destination for celebrating the essence of Independence Day. As we conclude our journey through the sites of New York City that embody the spirit of Independence Day, we are reminded of the remarkable history that unfolded on these very streets. 
From the stirring words of the Declaration of Independence to the battles fought for freedom, this city played a pivotal role in shaping our nation. As you stand in the footsteps of revolutionaries, patriots, and visionaries, may their stories ignite a renewed appreciation for the values we hold dear. As fireworks light up the sky in celebration, let us remember the sacrifices made and the enduring spirit of our nation. If you found this video informative and inspiring, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Hope you had an amazing and happy 4th of July in NYC, and may the spirit of freedom forever shine bright.